That'd be funny if he screamed the entire time. Let's go in the water to see if this thing will float. Come on, please float. Please float. Don't go into the water and don't crash. I was expecting it to be much more effective than this. Oh my god! Hello everybody, I'm back again playing The Amazing Frog. So last time, guys, on The Amazing Frog, I went under Swindon to the, uh, under the car park, and I found some sewers and stuff, and there was, there was zombies in there, and there was a missing s frog, fart tech scientist that I found. I popped his arm off, he had a key card. I inserted the key card into the vault, the LOL vault, uh, kiosk, card kiosk. <laughs> the door opened, I went inside, investigated, and I found an ant room. That was the topic of the last episode. This episode, we're gonna go try to find those, uh, those balls in the mountains, those big balls you can get inside and roll around. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't remember what they're called, aside from big balls, and I know Jackie Chan got in one in one of his movies and rolled down a hill. I always wanted to get in one, but, uh, I'm not Jackie Chan. <laughs> so I decided I would check him out in The Amazing Frog. But before we do that, I'm going to go insert this criminal into the uh, the courthouse because he's, he's been a bad boy and he needs to he needs to be put away for a long time. But first, watch this, guys. Look at this. <laughs> you can swing him around enough until your frog grip is strained and you have to release him into the ether. And he flies off and dies. Look, he just held on to that. Bastard. He must be resisting now. Come back here, you dick. He keeps grabbing onto that pole. Don't do that. Let's go, come on, come on, let's go. Here we go, okay. <laughs> he didn't do it that time. If you would've known what's good for you, you wouldn't have done it the first time, you punk criminal. I'm an astronaut, I'm an astro frog. I do not take no for an answer. You're going away for a long time, you damn frog criminal. Your days are rooting and tooting, romping and stomping are over. You're going, in, you're going behind bars, that's right. Vigilante uh, Papa Oomsie here in his spacesuit. This criminal was loitering. He was doing a bad thing. Look at him in there. He knows his crime. Look, it even says criminal right there in that font. Just to let me know that's a criminal. <laughs> I had to make sure because I, I wasn't sure if it was just like a, a really fashionable French guy or hipster maybe. And uh, it was actually a criminal. But luckily this man right here. Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally knocked him over. He knows the difference between French people and criminals. Wearing their stripes and shit. So confusing. Now it's time to go find those, uh, those giant balls. But first I'm gonna investigate what happened over here because I see some stuff on the ground and I wanna know what it is. Is this trash? Is there just- is there just litter here? Maybe that's why the criminal was a criminal. Can I put that in there? Okay, cool. So I can throw away trash in this game. That's amazing. Cleaning up the streets in many different ways, I am. Not only am I the trusted Swindon vigilante, I'm also the trusted Swindon street cleaner. <laughs> I'm essentially a maid. The outfit is just role play. We all know who I truly am. My passion is to clean, throw away trash. I just love the feeling. It's actually a really satisfying noise when you put a piece of trash in a trash can in this game. It goes, ching! Sounds like money almost. Now let's go find those giant balls and let's do some rolling, shall we? Sorry, woman. <laughs> no celebrating in the road. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> little fart noise. Oh, it never gets old, guys. It never gets old. Okay, so I think the uh, the balls are in this mountain over here. If you follow the the amazing road, I believe I saw them when I got the blimp to uh, uh, antagonize the giant shark. Pretty sure they were up there, but I'm not sure. Also, there's a gold cannon. You guys were telling me how awesome it was, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try it out as well. I think I might actually use it to get up to the 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 balls. What are they called? What are those balls called? Human hamster balls? Are they human hamster balls? Oh, this was a bad idea. So they're, hum they're human hamster balls. Unfortunately, I flipped my vehicle and farted. Pretty much shit myself and fell to the ground and busted my face. I guess I'll have to run the rest of the way. I think that... <sighs> There's the gold cannon right there, so it's not too far away. Alright, I can do this. I was worried I'd have to run a long ways. I hate running in this game. Just listen to it. Look at the discomfort on my face whenever I hear him run. It's really irritating. It was funny for like the first five minutes, and then the fap noises got old. And the farts, they've gotten really old too. I don't understand how that's a, a mechanic in the game. Like, what what good does that do? Aside from make you laugh occasionally. Which I guess that's the that's the best kind of good, so I understand. Cheer, cheers to you guys, Feiju, Feiju. Cheers to you guys for making such a incredible game mechanic. Now I'm gonna try this golden cannon out. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. Okay, this thing is very effective, guys. This thing works really well, holy crap. Ugh! <laughs> I'm okay. I could have sworn the balls were up here. Hello? 
Balls? Where are the balls at? There's a trampoline over there. Everything is really deliberate in this game. Everything is placed really deliberately to where you can like traverse perfectly if you're if you're talented. You can traverse around the whole map without ever having to get out of your uh, trampoline bounce. Like, I'm sure if you were good, you could jump from that trampoline very easily right to this one and then fly away somehow. Do some cool shit or something. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Well, this is not where the balls are, so I'll get in the blimp and I'll try to find the balls. They must be up the, the road further. I'm not really sure. Let's get out of here. Let's go find some human hamster balls is what I'm gonna call them. I don't really know what they're called. I think there's another name, but I don't I don't really know what it is, guys. I'm I'm not good at knowing or remembering things, so don't count, don't count on me ever. All I know is that I'm one hell of a blimp captain, and that's for sure. Look at this blimp control. Look at this blimp control. I don't know how to go up anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, shit. Wow. Okay, kind of funny. I was just talking about how great of a blimp, blimp captain I was. Uh, it's, I thought it was an irrefutable fact, but, uh, it's evidence. I'll just, I'll edit that part out. It's okay. No one will ever have to know. Where's the balls at? I think, I think I might have gone to the, the wrong, wrong mountain. Do you guys see the silhouette of that, uh, that mountain over there? Right there, see that one? I think that's, I think that's the, the mountain I need to go to. So, all right. Papa, Cap, Captain, Blimp, Oopsie, out. That sucks, guys. Okay, well, let's try that again, guys, because the, the, I went to the wrong mountain. I went to the wrong mountain. I think what I'm gonna do is just drive there. Uh, I, I'm really tempted to drive, to drive the Blimp there, but I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna take way too long. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna go get sent up into that damn building up there. That would have sucked. I would have been so mad. I could have farted. I was so mad. Just like that. I could beat this man up. I'm so mad. There we go. Just push him right down. Move out of my way. I'm angry. I need to go find some human hamster balls. Roll around in them. Leave me alone. I don't like your kind here, boy. Even though we're both frogs, but I'm, I'm an elite frog because I'm, I'm an astronaut. I went to space, guys. I went to space. I went to- I found the secret underground vault. I'm very special. I am- No frog is like me. No frog is like me, that's for sure. Frogs wish they were like me. Let's go to the other mountain, shall we? Pretty sure that's the correct mountain, because you wouldn't really be able to get too much rolling if you went up that- I mean, that's not even really a mountain. That's a- that's a shitty mountain, guys. That's a hill. That's a slightly large hill. And here is the dog statue. What kind of dog is that? Is that a pug? Its eyes are a little bit big to be a pug. I guess it could be a French bulldog or a pug. No, its ears are too small to be a French bulldog. Um, there is a, uh, there's a man underneath it. There's a man who's been killed. He's got his sword in his chest. What in the hell? Can I please take this? Please, can I take this? No, I can't take it. Oh, like I'm standing on his skull. Whoops. That's a nice looking sword, actually, guys. That's the sword of, sword of Pugzitar. The sword of Pug. I don't know. Let's get back on track and go to the mountain. This is gonna take forever. Well, that sucks. No, please. Oh, I restarted and I thought I just lost it again, guys. Oh my god, I need to I need to learn how to be more careful with this titty car. The titties, the titties are getting to me. There we go. Finally a little bit of flat land. Holy crap. Those little nips and bumps and tits and bums and ass hit mounds. All those mounds were getting to me. I was starting to flip every time I hit a jump. I sure do hope this is the correct mountain. If not, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be very angry, upset. Because there's no other damn mountains in the game. All the other mountains are fake. Look at the look at that mountain range out there in the distance. That's just gray shit. It's not even real mountains. It's just a picture. Just a picture with some paint on it. I don't know which way to go either. I think it's this way. I'm not sure. I've never actually been here. I've never actually seen anyone use these damn things. I just know they exist. I've seen pictures. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it looks like I'm walking the rest of the way. Awesome. Looks like I'm walking the rest of the way. Shit! You get your little spry ass up that hill. We can do this, Astro Frog. We just have to believe in ourselves. Should have taken that Beano, guys. Should have taken that damn Beano. I would have taken the Beano before. There would be no gas now. If I learned anything from watching TV, that's the, n the number one thing. If you take Beano before, there will be no gas later on. I just wonder how it would affect an amphibian's digestive system. I don't know. Maybe amphibians need to fart constantly to, to live. 
Maybe it's not just some annoying bullshit game mechanic that the developers included <laughs> for no real true reason other than to be fun and quirky. Come on, human hamster balls. Let's go. I feel like they're right over this crest up here. Come on, please be over the crest. Please be over the crest. I've done a lot of really dumb shit in this episode. I want to redeem myself by finding these damn hamster balls and rolling around in them. Because that sounds like the most fun thing ever. I wish I had one in real life. What? We both have the same face right now, guys. We're both very disappointed. I guess I need to go further somewhere. I don't know where I need to go, guys. These things better be at the top of this mountain. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm glad I can just run straight up hills like you can in Skyrim. Oh, that was a vi- Did you guys hear that? That was a violent fart and I'm like, oh! My nose curled up underneath. Luckily, I'm wearing them. an astronaut suit. Come on, it's the moment of truth. Come on, it's the moment of truth. I found them. They're at the very, very, very top. Okay. Hell, oh, there's wind up here too. It's windy. I'm so, I'm so high up in the clouds. I got my wind in the hair. How do I get in these things? I want to get in this one. This is the one I'm going to get in. I like this one a lot. Can I push it? What do I do? How do I, do I have to get in that hole right there? I'm in it. I'm in it, guys. I'm in the hamster ball. This is awesome. Look at me. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just like, oh, oh. I like how I can just stick to one side. That's hilarious. This is cool. Holy shit, look at me roll around. Can I roll up stuff? <gasps> I wonder how much momentum I can get. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I'm so glad I kept looking. Oh, I'm so glad I kept looking. I don't, I just don't know how he's staying in one spot. He's like plastered to the wall. It's kind of interesting. I thought he'd like visit, he'd like roll around and be ragdolled inside it and it would just be hilarious and he'd tumble and fall and hurt himself and die and throw up and stuff, but no. Okay, okay, well you could roll right up stuff. Oh man, this is gonna be exciting. Let's go down the mountain. Wow, getting some speed. I'm getting some serious speed here, guys. Okay, this is, what am I going, like Mach 50? Mach 60, 67? I'm at least going above the sound barrier. Imagine this in real life, though. Going down a mountain like that in one of these balls, you'd be so scared, because there's no way you could prevent the momentum. You couldn't stop it. There's just too much, too much going into it. Because these things are pretty heavy, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know anything about them, to be totally honest, but I wish I did. <laughs> this thing is awesome. You can actually use it really well. You can climb right up mountains and stuff. I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of control over my body weight, apparently, as this frog. I can just somehow make this thing spin like crazy, no matter what. I can make it spin up the hill. Gravity has no effect on me as a frog. Look at this. <laughs> it's like spinning wheels going up this hill. <laughs> I'm such a great hamster ball man. Hamsters be jelly of my, uh... Hamster ball skills. Read it and weep, hamsters. This is how you do the the real hamster ball stuff. I want to get out so bad while it's flying through the air, but I'm scared. I don't want to lose it. Hey, that was one hell of a bounce. Imagine that in real life, how scared you'd be as you're flying through the air. Uh-oh. What is this thing? What is this, like some sort of secret radio thing? Well, whatever. I don't really care that much, apparently. I'm going to go see the Megalodon in this thing. I'm going to go visit the Megalodon. Will it go in the water? Please tell me it'll go in the water. I know they go in water in real life, but then again, this game isn't completely realistic. Except for the fart thing. They captured that really well. What if everyone did run around and fart and then fall over every few seconds? That'd be really funny. Cities like Tokyo and New York City and, and LA and Hong Kong, those would be really, really interesting. All the, all the human foot traffic, you'd just be, there'd just be fart constantly. There'd be fart noises constantly. Be one big ass fart. Air would be so polluted. I think the Megalodon's just over here, actually. I don't know exactly where I am, but I'm pretty sure this is the correct body of water. And I'm in a hamster, a hamster, giant hamster ball, so this should be really interesting, guys. Hopefully it doesn't pop it. I have a feeling it's gonna pop it, though, which is, it's really gonna suck, but I'll, I'll get over it. I didn't work that hard to find these things. I went through many trials and tribulations to find my... Hamster balls. My giant frog hamster balls. Many a tear was shed on this day. It's kind of weird how there's no noise. It's really eerie and quiet. I feel like the, the audio drivers crashed or something. Just nothing going on. Not even, not a single peep. My frog's just like... That'd be funny if he screamed the entire time. All right, well, we're going to go in the water. Let's go in the water to see if this thing will float. Come on, please float. Please float. Don't go into the water and don't crash. Okay, that's probably not good. We're out of the water again. Oh wow, look at this. Can I go in the water? It kind of goes in the water a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh no. It doesn't go in the water very well. 
I was expecting it to be much more effective than this. Oh my god, there's this- that actually scared the shit out of me. Okay, well at least there's sharks attacking me. I don't know if we're- I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the Megalodon. Unless we can get him to push us in the direct- in the direction of the Megalodon. Come on! Get me, shark! Get me! Attack me! Oh, there's another one! Look at that one. He got air. So happy to see me. Oh my god! How'd they get me out, those bastards? Get me back in the Zorb! Oh, my skin is all stretched out! Get me back in the Zorb, you dicks! Come on, look, he's got me folded in half! And then I died, but there's my helmet still fine. My helmet's still fine. After all that, they sucked me... Right out of the giant human hamster ball. Did I just call it a Zorb? Get me back in the Zorb, you dicks! Is that what they're called? Did I just call it the correct name in my fit of terror? Right then and there? Okay, Google. Zorb. That's really strange. They're Zorbs. I don't even think I've ever heard that word in my life. That was so weird, guys. I need to... Stop here for a second and take a little bit of a breather. <laughs> well, that was kind of fun Thank you guys for watching this episode of the amazing frog I really hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you in the next episode When I gather up some when I get some pussy <laughs> you would never believe what just happened to me I found a zorb up in the mountain and then I rode it down into the water But I didn't know what it was called I thought it was a giant hamster ball But it really was called a zorb and while I was getting eaten by sharks I figured out it was called zorb somehow. I don't know how and it made me really scared. What are you doing? What are you doing right there? Oh and then the cat to top it off. One, two, three.